chip shafting alignment measurements. Overheating and bearing failure are faults requires optimum alignment. Alignment measurements scope. 1. Bearing center positioning 2. Bearing reaction measurements 3. Touching bearing and shaft 4. Thermal imagines in operation Based on the shafting geometry, propeller weight, crankshaft geometry and weights including chain tension Finite element programs can calculate the optimum bearing positions, bending moments and bearing reactions as well the same method used for shafting system connect main engine and gearbox. By dotted line presented the optimum bearing positions and the blue the measured ones. Three D deflection presentation in magnification ten one thousand. One bearing center positioning. Measured by laser pinpoint microgauge 2000. To bearing center positioning as well. By jackup test measured the bearing reaction the load measured by load cell and the lift created by hydraulic jack measured by laser microgauge 2000. By evaluation of jackup test results the bearing reactions are estimated. Reaction measurements will be done by strain gauge method without any shaft lift and limitations. Resulting reactions and bearing center positioning by evaluation of stress results. Touching shaft and bearing measurements can be done both by laser leveling and strain gauges stress distribution turn the shaft by turn gear. Unequal clearances distribution creates relative movement of bearing shell to the bearing housing. Touching image taken by leveling or strain gauges are easy and more accurate. That image is taken by blue the old method. Bending shaft test done in situ due to the intermediate and tail shaft size carry out by proximity transducers. Thermal images with shaft in operation is the best diagnostic tool during dock or sea trials to detect the hot points. Thermal image of overloaded bearing Thermal image of bearing in correct position Sealing rings thermal images Video by thermal camera clear of hot spots and areas Final test after succeeding shafting alignment Reliable and efficiency propulsion starting by succeeding shafting alignment.